All right, well, um, we're talking here about uh, what type of elevator speeches we are able to give as business development marketing uh, reps for our real estate agents. And uh, today we have with me Lorella Lorela Lombardi. I love I saying love how you say that. it rolls out there at times, <laughs> yes. but uh, she is killing, killing, killing the market out there, uh, driving record month after record month with uh, agents coming in and, and, and trusting us uh, with. Uh, their escrows and things of that nature. So congratulations, Lorella, on all your success. You barely came on the company and you're hitting the ball out of the ballpark. Uh, but we're talking today about how do you give a, a 30 second, uh, maybe 45 second, of course, under a minute elevator speech. That's what it is, right? Just enough to give them enough bait or information to want to sit down and talk and then have a regular presentation. So let's just identify an elevator speech is not the presentation. Uh, you're not going to regurgitate all this information during the elevator speech. It's just enough so that in the last part of it, which is a call to action, they say, yay, yeah, let's get together and you know, have coffee or have lunch or whatever. So uh, several parts in an elevator speech, they go really by really fast. The first part, obviously, is the introduction. Um, you know, hi, my name is, is, you know, that's the way usually a lot of people start off with. Uh, I, I prefer more, hi, I am, or I am. Uh, difference, big difference between my name is and I am. I am is a little bit more of a, a stronger statement. Mm -hmm. um, my name is, is, you're just giving yourself a label, but with your name, but if you come in with I am, so hi, I'm Harold, or hi, I'm Lor Lorela, hi, I'm, is more preferable and always nice to meet you with a smile. Uh, anything that you do in terms of elevator speech, most of the time you should have a smile, uh, I, I, but not the portion of the middle. So let's just break it down. Introduction. Uh, whether they say, hey, uh, hey, they, uh, hey, I'm Dave. What's your name? Hey, Harold. You're Her I'm Harold. Nice to meet you, Harold. So Harold, what do you do for a living? Well, I'm not going to say again, hi, I'm Harold. <laughs> 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 now, let, let me rewind my elevator speech back to the beginning. Hi, I'm Harold. No, 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 no. It, it, you know, it, it's, it comes naturally. Hey, uh, hi, uh, hey, I'm Dave. What's your name? Hey, hi, I'm Harold. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Harold. What do you do for a living? They may say that. If they come up with what, a, what do you do for a living, the first words out of my mouth is always, I'm glad you asked. Thank Thanks you. for asking. Um, it, it gives you authority. It gives you uh, readiness, kind of ready, set, go for what you're about to say. Uh, so you always want to thank them. And, and it gives you an upper hand psychologically in a certain sense. But when you say, mm -hmm. I'm glad you asked. Thanks mm -hmm. for asking. Um, then you go straight to your title. I'm a marketing executive. I'm a business development executive. Uh, more along the lines, I would come in, I'm a marketing executive. So mm -hmm. there you go. Got the introduction. Or I'm glad you asked. First uh, part of the elevator speech, it didn't take five seconds. And then you go with who you are in terms of uh, the title at your work, at your job. I'm a marketing executive. Could I ask you a question? Business Harold? development executive. Yeah. Okay. okay so, um, no, that's all. That makes sense. That's awesome, too. So, for example, like this class that's coming up, they're going to talk about it and then they already are in, already introducing you. So then they, most of these people, agents already know at this point who I am. So what do you say? Just good morning, you know, welcome to the class. How do you just kind of 30 seconds? Cause they're the announcer um, that is teaching the class for Baker Brooker. They said that they're already going to be announcing you. Awesome. So, well, so in that, in that regards, do so I just say Hi, hello every morning? Good morning. Thank you for attending the class. Um, yeah, no, you, where do you go from there? Yeah, they're going to announce you. And they'll for this particular you. class. Yeah, they'll announce your name, for example, right? right? right. So it's, you're, you're, still gonna, you're still going to say, hello, good morning. There's still going to be some sort of an introduction. Okay. Uh, so always you want to thank people for being okay. there. Um, and many of them, they may introduce you with your title. They may not introduce you with your, with your title. But okay. in the event that they don't, you always say, hi, I'm Lorella uh, with... And then you say the name of the company. I'm a marketing executive. And then what you would say something along the lines is specializing 
in overseeing all marketing aspects of my real estate clients to help them help more clients. Okay. So you, you introduce yourself. Hi, right. my name is, or somebody does that, but you always right. have to say, welcome guys. Nice to meet you. Thank you all for being here this morning. What a crowd. Right. This is awesome. Uh -huh. We're going to have a great meeting. Perfect. Uh, uh, again, as, uh, as she said, uh, I am uh, Lorella Lombardi, marketing executive with Equitable Title and Escrow, okay. uh, specializing in overseeing all marketing aspects of my real estate clients to help them close more deals and help more, more of their clients. In okay, short, perfect. In short, um, I join my real estate uh, agents teams by helping, helping, uh, their, helping them grow professionally in their marketing in all their forms of business from beginning to end, from social media to business planning with innovative and fresh marketing initiatives. Perfect. I'd love an opportunity to put my expertise to work for you all. Uh, would love to set up a quick Zoom call uh, at the end of the meeting, I'll be outside and let's, you know, I'll give you my information and we'll set up a time and uh, see how we can help you grow your team as well. Thanks for the opportunity. Boom. 30 seconds. You're done. Yeah. Awesome. So, nice. So, I love it. Love so it. basically again, but, but the way that you're going to remember it again is just by knowing that there's a beginning to the elevator speech. There is a middle of the elevator speech and there's an end. The beginning is the introduction. The okay. end is the call to action. There is, it defeats the purpose to share your elevator pitch if you don't ask for the sale or do the, the call Absolutely. to action. You have Absolutely. To have and they told, to me, they told me as soon as the class is over, they're going to have me talk for a second too. So when the awesome. class is over. So then you would say something along the lines like, you know, please let me, you know, help you out to put you on Breakthrough Broker. How would you, how would you kind of, yeah, if you say, please let me help you out, you're giving them the power. Okay, so right? don't do that. Coming from under to above. That's why I don't say my name is from under to above. I say okay. I am from top to bottom. Okay. So I am. So again, in all relationships, only one controls the, the relationship, right? Okay. And so if we're going to have a relationship on the marketing side, I'm going to control that. Okay. I'm, the, I'm here. The, I'm the professional. I'm the marketing executive. Uh, you should thank God or your lucky star <laughs> yes. that I'm here because I represent for you in the next 60 days, about $25,000 more into your pocket. Okay. So there needs to be a, a humble yet not, please let me help you, but more of, I'd love an opportunity to put my expertise to work for you. So you're saying the same thing, but it's coming from a different vantage point again. And that would be at the end when yes. you're right, when you're done, exactly. when you're done, that's how you would close it. When Absolutely. Okay. That's a call to action. Okay. So I'd love an opportunity to put my expertise to work for you is a great way of closing your closing. Again, the goal of the elevator pitch is just to get an appointment. Perfect. And like the goal of our cell phones is just to get an appointment. We're not here to, to sell the whole thing on over the cell phone. We're not telemarketers, right? right? We're business development reps or, or executives or marketing executives, right? So again, I just wanna just synthesize what I've said. The first part is introduction. Uh, I'm glad you asked. Again, my name is, no wor no, don't worry if they introduced you, say it again. Again, I am Laurel Lombardi. Nice to meet you all. What a crowd. Great, great. We're going to have a great time today. By the way, I'm a marketing executive with Equitable Title and Escrow. Specializing, that's the first word you want to get out. So introduction, and then what is your unique selling proposition, right? So we specialize in overseeing all marketing aspects of our real estate clients to help them grow more business, help more of their clients. In short, mm -hmm. I join your team as the marketing professional to help you grow in every aspect from beginning to end, whether social media, business planning with innovative and fresh marketing initiatives. Hey, I'd love an opportunity to put my expertise to work for you. If you mind, uh, wouldn't mind we can set up a quick meeting at the end of our meeting. I'll be right at the end of the meeting today. I'll be outside passing on my business card. Let me help you. 
Let or me, if, it's, if it's a Zoom call, you just give them your email. Or if it's a Zoom call, like, absolutely. Yeah. Zoom call, okay. make sure you, you write that, write it down on the business card, right? What your Zoom ideas and just hand it over or just get your, their email and email them. But, okay. but again, Perfect. it's the beginning part. If you see the thing is this, if you put the first button in the first hole, then more than likely everything else is going to line up. The right. second hole will line up, the third hole. And that's why it's so important to nail the beginning. Okay. Even if they introduced you, say, hey, guys, hey, what a great crowd. By the way, again, my name is, or I am, Will Lombardi. Nice to meet you all. I'm a marketing executive, or I'm the marketing executive for Equitable Title and Escrow here in Colorado, specializing. That's the first word you want to say, because you're, you're, you're a professional. Mm -hmm. Specializing. In fact, uh, I'll write it down, and I'll send it to you, what, what, okay. what mine is. So specializing in overseeing all marketing aspects of my real estate clients to help them grow their businesses and help more clients. Of Perfect. Own, right. Cool. So that's what you did. You did the introduction. You did tell them who you are in that line okay. of work. And then what you what you do, you specialize in overseeing all marketing aspects of your real estate clients so that they grow their business and they can help more people. Now, Perfect. then you move a little bit deeper into your, your, your unique selling proposition. In short, you can just summarize it. In short, I join real estate agents teams as their marketing professional to help Perfect. them grow their businesses from beginning to end, social media to business planning with an innovative and fresh marketing initiatives. Hey, now you go to the close, right? Which is really, really, uh, uh, really, really um, poignant. I'd love an opportunity to put my experience or expertise to work for you. Perfect. Awesome. So though, with those words, hey, if, you'd mind, if you wouldn't mind, I'll be outside hanging out, my, passing the business card so we can set up a Zoom call or give me your email, I'll email you my information, and let's put some more money in your pocket. Okay, perfect. Boom. Sounds good. Done. Awesome. So, so you've done a quick elevator spe speech. And again, I guess it's the, in the beginning, I am instead of my name is. Okay. So nice to meet you. What a crowd. Awesome, you guys are here. What I do, I'm a marketing, not rep, but executive or business development executive, specializing. That word is, so if, 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 a, good, if a good elevator pitch is going to be good, you're going to hear little dings. Ding, ding. You know, like, hi, my name is, you're not going to get a ding. <laughs> hi, I am, ding. She's powerful, right? Nice to meet you. She recognized me. Ding. I'm a marketing executive. She's an executive. Ding. Specializing in. The word specializing. Ding. They're going to give you those dings, right? Um, in short, uh, you know, again, it's all about your expertise. Ding. All those words are put there for a reason. Okay. And, and subconsciously, they're going to like you. They're going to say, wow, she, she knows her stuff. So mm -hmm. in short, right, introduction. Even if they introduce you, again, introduce yourself. Hey, right. guys, I'm Laurel Lombardi, as I was just introduced. What an honor it is to meet you guys. I am the mm -hmm. right, marketing executive mark, or business development executive for Equitable, for doesn't really matter if you're going to say for HomeSmart, for right. Minute Mortgage, for Platinum. It's going to be used for any company, right? Because this, sure. is, this, is, this transcends just the escrow and, and title. Right. Room. Right. But now specializing in now overseeing that makes you like a manager, right? You're overseeing every marketing aspect of your real estate clients okay. to help them grow their businesses and help them help more people. Because okay. some people love more money. Other people love to help more people. You got them both. Right. And then you go now into your unique selling proposition in short, Right. So now, you know, you're going to find it. You're, you're landing this now. You barely got up. Now you're landing it. In short, I join my clients, my real estate clients team as a marketing professional uh, to help them grow their business from beginning to end. Mm -hmm. Beginning to end from social media to their business plan with innovative and fresh. So you got HubSpot. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> and yes. and Breakthrough Broker, Fresh Marketing Initiatives. Mm -hmm. I'd love an opportunity to put my expertise to work for you. Let's get together after the meeting. Boom, Perfect. done. Thank yes. you. <laughs> so, awesome. That sounds good. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Yeah, so.